Chapter 3 Blow hot, blow cold Time to think Name the organs which help us to breathe We all breathe All living things breathe Breathing is essential for us to stay alive Breathing involves inhaling, taking in and exhaling, giving out of air We breathe through our nose or mouth we breathe all the time because our body needs a continuous supply of oxygen. Oxygen is needed to break down digested food to get energy. The nose, windpipe and lungs are the parts of our breathing system known as our respiratory system. The lungs are two bag-like structures located in the chest. The left lung is little smaller than the right lung. The lungs are protected by the rib cage. Beneath the lungs is a dome-shaped muscle called diaphragm, which helps to increase or decrease the space of the chest activity during the process of breathing. Nitty-gritty. Though human body has two lungs, we can live with one lung. It limits our physical activity but doesn't stop us from leading a normal life. Many people around the world live with only one lung. Take a break. Make a list of different activities in our daily lives which require us blow air. Demonstrate these activities in the class where you use your breath. Include the use of breath in doing yoga. Take a break. Initiate the lesson by taking an exercise on inhaling and exhaling in the class. Children can be taken to bio lab and shown the respiratory system of human beings. Process of inhaling and exhaling of air, breathing. When we breathe in, inhale, the muscles pull the rib cage upwards and outwards. Due to this, the chest becomes bigger. The diaphragm muscle contracts, making it flatter. This makes the chest even bigger and the air is sucked into lungs. When we breathe out, exhale, the chest muscles relax, which lowers the ribcage. This makes the chest smaller. The diaphragm muscle relaxes, making it bulge upwards. This makes the chest even smaller and thus the air is forced out of the lungs. Take a break. Divide the class into groups. Each one should inhale and exhale air. The chest size can be measured on inhaling and exhaling air. The air we breathe out. The air that we breathe out contains carbon dioxide and water vapors. The air is warm because as it travels through our body, it picks up heat along the way. So, we breathe out hot and humid air. We can experience this by various activities like when you blow air to cool any hot drink. The drink cools down as our breath is cooler than the hot drink. Blowing air to warm hands to cool a hot drink. Exhaling air on a glass surface. In winter, we blow air from our mouth to warm our cold hands. When we exhale air on a cold glass surface, it becomes cloudy for some time. This happens because the water vapor in our breath condenses on touching the cold glass surface. Nitty gritty. An average person breathes in around 11,000 liters of air every day. The study of lung diseases is known as pulmonology. What happens on blowing air? In olden days, people used chulhas for cooking. They lit firewood in the chulhas. They used to blow air through a pipe to keep the fire burning. Through a breath, we increase the supply of oxygen and the fire burns more brightly. The temperature at which anything burns is called ignition temperature. When it is lowered, the 
fire stops burning. Blowing air through a pipe to burn fire in a chula.